They lost everything in the fire, but are thankful to the people who got them out safely. We definitely commend the police and all the firefighters that were out. It was almost every city within like Downriver was down here. Running in. Running to in to help, and I'm so thankful that they were here. Tonight, first-hand accounts of what happened inside a Southgate senior apartment complex as it went up in flames. And now take a look at live pictures of what's left of the meadows of Southgate. Fire investigators are working to do a secondary search of the building, but they say it isn't going to be easy because part of the roof collapsed. All day today, residents of the complex have been coming to see what's left after that devastating fire. So here's what we know as we hit the 5 o'clock hour. In all, nine people had to be taken to the hospital. Most of them, fortunately, have already been released. One Wyandotte officer was taken to Detroit Receiving Hospital, and she right now is in stable condition there. Let's get to Sean Lay, who spent the day talking with residents, uh, many of them uh, lucky to be alive, of course, Sean, but also heartbroken. Truly, and there's some good stories about this, though, however, let me show you what's happening right now. Southgate Fire just turned that hose on just this moment as we came on the air. Possible hot spot there. But look here at the entrance. You have people and firefighters coming here. The people are coming to the firefighters. The residents burned out. And firefighters are making a list of the precious items, at least one or two, that might be able to be salvaged out of their units. We've seen firefighters come out with a purse, with medicine in one case a diamond engagement ring ain't a really old ring that was in a closet in a pocket and the firefighter was able to found, find it going in there is extremely dangerous for now though we had a different kind of news story people wanted to share with us their fire survival stories from here in their own words take a look you know what i'm glad it was daytime because oh most my gosh. of most you imagine of, a night yes the second of right here where he's standing at all right yeah you want to show me yeah I left that open. I could have went in there, went to my bedroom, and got and got my pills out the drawer. You got your meds? Yeah, but they were turned into water, turned into liquid. Turned into liquid. Yeah, because they were in the in the hallway where all the water went to when they stopped pumping for the fire. Once this fire took hold, there was no stopping it. We put up drone four to show you what's left. First order of business: get people out, save lives from this. Next, put the fire out. This is home for hundreds of seniors and their pets. Today, a search for those other family members. But we all love our pets, so right. we're all holding out hope that our cat or dog, yeah. whatever, is okay. Yeah, could that's be. what I'm could hoping. Be. It could be, you know, and that's what I'm hoping for. We did recover nine cats. I had a trouble with a few of them, I'm not gonna lie. They're probably stressed. Um, they're, they're, they're stressed, they're scared. I, yeah, yeah. I did get scratched up a little bit, so. <laughs> and this place is fire and smoke. Were you praying for your neighbors to get out? No yeah. one would be hurt. Yeah, I knew, uh, well, a couple of them got, um, I think three of them got a little smoke inhalation. Mm -hmm. But basically, I'm glad everybody got out. Got out. It's yeah. remarkable. Yes, it is. Quite remarkable. We have some important information now that Southgate Police just shared with us. We want to share with you Red Cross now helping people displaced with short term housing. The Senior Center on Riem Parkway accepting donations right now. Veterans and veteran spouses who live here, the Detroit American Legion want you to call the Detroit American Legion if you're a vet or veteran spouse to plug you in to services or help that you may need. Now, coming up at six o'clock, we're with a young daughter, two sisters who are with their beloved father. We walked with them as they walked behind this place as they saw his apartment, his home, he said, for the very first time, quite emotional. But as you can see here, people one by one coming and firefighters helping them one by one, even up there where it's extremely dangerous. We're live in Southgate tonight, showing like local four back. Really been something. All right, Sean.